Today, I'd like to introduce you to our new planning tool. In OutView, this wonderful new feature minimizes the effort needed to plan a new locks on smart home in under 10 minutes. All you need to do is put in customer name, street, and contact details. My details as the installer would then go here, along with a project description. You can choose whether you want to display the prices and which currency and language to work with. Let's load an example file that we already have for a customer project for John Smith. Here, you start with my global selection of what you would like to include in this smart home, such as spots, shading, and heating. I've selected LED ceiling spot RGBW tree. We can also select what kind of shading controls we'll need. So I've chosen the shading actuator air. As well as whether we want to use tree or air actuators. Here I've chosen tree for underfloor heating manifold. And at the top you can select the mini server type. You can now click continue. Here you can select the features room by room and also the whole house features. Say you want to add an NFC code touch as a central feature. You can click open under the pre-selection for whole house and then on the left you can browse a library of possible products you can add. Now if you go back, this is where you can add and edit all of the rooms in this smart home and also indicate the room type. As you already know from our auto configuration feature, we will adapt settings and products depending on the room type. It is also important to add the size of the room, this affects the quantity of products we need, which we'll see later, as well as how many windows and external doors there are. In this example, I have two windows and doors to the patio, so a total of three. You would also list how many interior doors there are. In this case, there is just one door leading into the living room. The amount of interior doors affects the number of touch switches that get added. Then in this column, you would indicate how many heating loops there are for each room or zone. This has already been calculated for me based on the room size. You can view more details for this room by clicking open here. Now you can make adjustments to the lighting. For example, these are the spots that were automatically calculated for me because of the room size. You can of course adapt this if needed. You can also view and change settings for shading, heating and cooling, multimedia and sensors. Here it has added motion sensors which is one of the most important sensors for a real smart home. The quantity is calculated for me based on the room size. In controls it has automatically added the touch pure tree in white as we want to offer elegant control for our customers. On the next tab we can see that there is no need for any access solution in this room. Under monitoring, it has listed a smoke detector air and window and door contact for us. Under accessories and inputs and outputs, I don't need anything, so these are left empty. Here, you can work your way through adding all rooms and checking the pre-selection for each room. This shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes. Then click next. Here we have the list of power supplies needed in line with what we recommend on our expert training and knowledge base. The first is the available power based on the power supplies specified. The second line is for my control products like my mini server and extensions. And the third is for my peripheral devices such as touch switches uh, and motion sensors. The fourth line tells me that for this installation I will need 26.5 amps for all the locks on lighting products in this project. All in I will need the following combination of power supplies. Now you can click finish planning. Now we have the final step. We can click preview to see the file in Excel. This planning spreadsheet firstly shows me a parts list which is simply laid out, listing all products you need with the quantity shown for each. For example, it lists here that I will need 40 LED ceiling RGBW tree spots. On the next tab, you have a parts list with the same information except here it is sorted by room, which is another nice overview. If needs be, you can change the quantity from within this spreadsheet. Then lastly, in this tab, you can see the number of inputs and outputs that have been assigned. For example, here I can see my installation has 84 tree devices, so I will only need one tree extension. Again, you can freely make adjustments on this tab. 
Now I am ready to create the locks on config file for this project. This takes just a few seconds as it adds all the devices to my periphery. The only things left then is the actual configuration and of course the installation itself. Before we get into auto configuration, you can see that it has already filled out all the right information about the project here on the left. Now you can click on auto configuration to configure the whole house. As we see, all the rooms and the right categories are pulled in and you can let this smart home configure itself. After auto config, the file is ready to be saved into the demo case or a mini server you already have for testing. The customer can then already see their house already in action and can show off some of the functionality via the Loxon smart home app or web interface. This note lets me know that before installation, I still need to go through and complete the to-do notes highlighted for me, such as connecting the outputs for the blocks for automatic blinds. Now, in less than 10 minutes, I have in front of me a complete list of devices and a configuration file. From this, you could get a quote ready in half an hour. As we now know the products we need and the quantity, we are able to estimate the time it will take to complete the installation. Knowing your own resources, you can then offer a quote and even show the customer some of the functionality they will get via the Loxon app. Now, from here, you can make changes that affect the visualization in the app. These changes could be naming the children's room, Max's, for example. The new project planning tool is a big milestone for our partners when it comes to planning a real Loxon smart home. This will list all the devices you need for the installation of this smart home. Once the devices are installed, I'll need to go through the home and do a search for devices and replace these in config. Potentially then, after a few hours of doing this, you will have a fully functioning real locks on smart home. <laughs>